Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2018 film Jessica Forever, which is just hitting Shudder today when I'm posting this video. So it's a Shudder original and <laughs> Shudder, first the marshes, now this, what are you doing? I mean, if, if, if this is what the originals are going to end up being like or continuing to be like, um, don't do originals anymore. Just do the exclusives and do other stuff and get licenses for older films like established because this is, it's not good. I mean, The Marshes was horrible. This is a little bit better. Not much. And I'm, I'm going to talk about why. So I won't do spoilers on this because if people really want to see the film, that's fine. That's your choice. And there might be some people out there who legitimately like this film. I hated it. Uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't hate it as much as The Marshes. And you should watch my review for The Marshes because no holds barred. Hated it. Terrible. Uh, I'm going to crap all over this film because it is not good. But just know it's better than The Marshes. And some people might enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, go ahead and put some comments down there. Tell me why. I, I'm always open to listening. Well, in this case, reading and finding out why people like things. And that's fine. We all have different opinions. But for me, very strongly hate this. So it was written and directed by Caroline Poggi. Poggi or Poggi? I don't know. And Jonathan Vanell. Uh, previous to this, they just did some short films. That's all that showed up on their internet movie database. Uh, history and from the experience of this film they should just stick with short films uh, they can physically make a feature length film but they don't have the ability to write the story for a feature length film is what this brings through to me these people don't have the chops to write a script for an engaging or even halfway decent feature length film it's just not their ability uh, it's a French film, just so people know, um, which, you know, fine. The opening feels like it's trying too hard to be cool, and it's just straight up awkward. Now, that actually goes throughout the film. It's just it, it, it's so many moments where it's like it's trying to be cool. It's trying to be angsty. It's trying to be um, artistic and amazing, and it's not. It, it, it tries to be all these things, and it never is any of those things, not even close to it. And there's nothing worse than someone trying to do something and not even coming close to doing it. Uh, and that's what this film is, is a whole series of those types of things. If you don't have the ability, find someone who does. Or, you know, get help. Just get help with these films. The first five minutes has no dialogue in it, which is fine. But then there's a bunch of... I mean, for the most part, there isn't a ton of dialogue in this film, which might actually be a good thing because when there is dialogue it's it's pretty dumb it's not very well written uh there's a whole lot of cliche stuff thrown out there things that just don't play well and yeah actually now that i think about it the fact that there isn't a ton of dialogue is probably better uh because then that way you can just kind of focus on the visuals which by the way the camera work is actually pretty good whoever was working their camera i hope they get work past this um because they did a good job and you know, you can see where the, the two who wrote and directed it have the ability to do directing. They can do some films, but just don't, they should not write their own stuff. They just should not write their own stuff. Or at least come up with a premise, come up with an idea, give it to an actual writer. They'll write up the script and then they can direct it. That's fine. Because um, there's a good premise here. There, there's an underlying good idea it's just nothing is executed well with that idea. The script is the biggest problem with this. It is terrible. And the acting is also not good. Um, but, you know, with a strong enough script, bad acting isn't the end of the film. You, you need a strong script that is the cornerstone, especially for a very low-budget film, which you can tell that this is. Um, some of the characters have really stupid nicknames, which is pretty much a foreshadowing of how this film's going to go. Uh, I'm talking about names like, this one's kind of dumb, but not super dumb, uh, Raiden. But then you have the really dumb ones like Magic and Leopard. So when they were introducing these characters and they got to Magic and Leopard, hard eye roll from me. I was like, oh my, oh my, this is... And it was foreshadowing. It was very strong foreshadowing of what the rest of this film would be like. Um, just like those names, just trying so hard to be cool. Just not even close. The dialogue and characters are overly simplistic. 
every character is boiled down to one thing, and they're almost all the same. Almost every character has the same emotions, acts the same way, talks the same way. Everything's the same. It's like a bunch of drones. It's terrible. It's just garbage. Um, nobody shows emotion, which that is the, the best way to have people not care at all about the movie. Nobody shows emotion. There's there's a flash here or there where someone has an emotional line delivery, but for the most part, from what I can tell, it's written and directed to have people not show emotion. In their acting, in their dialogue delivery, none of it. And it's just like, how are you going to have the audience connect with a single character? The first thing is you have these overly simplistic characters who don't develop pretty much at all throughout the film they're almost all the same it's like cardboard and then you have them not emote and not i mean it, it it's giving the audience nothing it gives the audience nothing to relate to it gives the audience nothing to be interested in and it's just like you're just watching these robotic like these androids just go about doing things and they're not even doing interesting things for the most part here or there it gets a little bit interesting and when i say a little bit i mean a very little bit um they're just doing so many mundane things and like you can pull a film off this way like they were trying to do but they just don't do it and i I'll, at the end of this i'll give some examples of what i think they were kind of going for and and good examples of that um there are lots of scenes of people just sitting around or standing around and a lot of staring that goes on. It just comes off as idiotic. Uh, lots and lots of staring. Like I said, there's no emotion. Uh, there's so many instances where something happens and the the reaction or lack of reaction from the characters is so in your face that you're just like, huh? What are we doing here? Like, that's not even close to human. Like, nobody would not react to that. There wouldn't be a single person who wouldn't react to that or would just stand there and stare. And there's so much staring, it's unbelievable. It's obvious that this film should have been cut down to half an hour, maybe. It's an hour and 36 minutes. Half an hour of it could have been a movie. Jesus. Uh, there are lots... Oh, yeah, I already got that one. <coughs> it just got me kind of shaking up here uh like i said the camera work is actually pretty solid though like there are some inspired interesting shots but that's not enough to keep people interested in the movie uh they have a night vision sequence in this film that does not look good and actually didn't matter at all so it was just kind of like this hey i think we can do this let's put it in the movie not i think this makes sense in the movie or we'll add something and that's kind of what this whole script was it's just like hey i've got an idea don't, let's not even think about if it makes sense or if it pushes for, story forward or anything. If you have an idea, just put it in. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell? Oh my gosh. Uh, a lot of the time it feels like there was no, little to no script and they just winged it based on locations that they wanted to use. Now I will say this, the shot locations are cool. They do have some cool locations that look very beautiful. Uh, wonderful backdrop to it. Uh, there's a house in it that looks really nice and everything. But it's what they choose to do with that, which is pretty much nothing, that just leaves you like, okay, what, what, what why, huh? Uh, there's a scene, <laughs> I love this, maybe my favorite scene of the film, just because I laugh so hard at it, because it's unintentionally funny. Uh, there's a scene where characters are dancing to music, and it's like the most awkward and laughable, like, grooving slash dancing you've ever seen. It is terrible terrible but i found it funny so there was a little bit of light within the dark tunnel in a sense uh i've never seen so many angsty characters yet they show no emotion that's the thing like everyone you can tell internally is like super angsty and upset and just hates the world and everything but they don't even like show it really they don't even like it's like well then what's the point like what is the point and that's kind of this whole movie. What is the point? There's no point. And I'll get to that a little bit. Uh, like I said, there is an interesting premise here. Kind of this idea. It's a little bit post-apocalyptic, but I can't figure out if that's what it was actually trying to do. It's a little bit 
uh, trying to talk about, um, you know, what happens when boys are left alone in society and to fend for themselves. And then they find uh, their own family, their makeshift family, and can that kind of repair them from their traumatic past? Um, sounds like a good premise, right? Doesn't come through in the actual film, though. And that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a good premise here. They just needed to hand that idea off to someone who actually knows how to write scripts. And then they could have shot that, but they didn't. So th that's where why we're here. This is where we are. And it's it's not good. Uh, if you have a low budget film, or if you have a low to no budget, and you can't do big things, you need a very good script with interesting characters. Not even a very good script. You need an okay to decent script with interesting characters. That will be enough. And this doesn't even come close. Whenever you write anything, you need to look at it from the audience's perspective and act ask yourself, Why? There needs to be a why for things that happen. I found myself saying throughout this film, so what? Continuously through this film, I'm watching it. Things happen, and I'm like, okay, so what? And there's no answer to it, basically. Nothing comes up after it that, that really matters. It's a whole lot of so what moments that are never answered. Terrible. Uh, this is, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is what happens when you give a shooting budget to a film school student who says they're an auteur, but refuses to run anything by anyone else and won't even take a second pass at a script that they wrote. That's how this film plays out to me. Someone who thinks they're amazing. Someone who just had their first year at film school and says, you know what, I think I'm an auteur. I can make amazing films. I write the best scripts. Okay, let me see it. No. I don't let anyone look at my work. I don't even write a second edit of it because it's that good. It's just right out the gate, let's do this. And it's the best thing ever. That type of person is how is who it seems made this film. Okay, so bottom line, terrible. Hate it. Garbage. What are you doing, Shutter? Stop wasting your money on this stuff. This and the marshes, if it's going to continue to go like this, stop. Just go for the exclusives and everything else, and we'll we'll be good. I love you, Shudder. I love Shudder. I advocate for Shudder so hard on this channel. That is why it's so particularly heartbreaking when I see them spending money on stuff like this. The other thing is, they did a thing some years ago called Shudder Labs, where they brought in Larry Fessenden, and they uh, they identified really pers um, good perspective. Uh, horror filmmakers who are you know indie who are very little known and they brought them in and did a workshop with them with Larry Fessenden and I feel like the idea behind that was to start cultivating some people who could then contribute to Shutter. they need to go back to that find those people track them down and give them the money to make Shutter originals to pour into it because they had already identified them as super talented people who could be, you know, people to watch for the future instead of just going out and throwing money to these rando people who this was their first feature length film and they obviously can't do one. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, so I promised that I would, I would give you some examples of films that do kind of what I think they were trying to do here, but failed at miserably. Um, I would say, uh, Last Life in the Universe is a really great example of this. It's one of these films where there's a point to it. There's an interesting theme. It's very slow, and, and you would say not much of anything happens in the film, but it's beautiful, and it's engaging somehow, and, it, and it's good. Another one is called Sonatine. That's another really awesome one. And then going, like, those are, like, higher-budget versions of what I'm talking about, but going, like, really low-budget, there was a film on Netflix called... Uh, Boys in the Trees from 2016, that's probably closer uh, comparison-wise for this one because it is very low budget and you can tell that. That's another one where not a ton happens, but the script was actually good and they, you know, they do, they do a solid job. So in the end, big old thumbs down on this one. It's trash. But like I said, it's better than The Marshes. So uh, giving it a uh, rating out of five stars with half stars in play. Since I gave the Marshes, I believe, just a half star, and I won't go lower than that for any movie. I mean, just making a movie gets you half a star. I'm going to give it one star. This film gets one star. I recommend it to no one. Um, although, if you do watch it and you are interested in it, put some comments down there. I, I would love to know what people see in this that they like. 
So anyway, thanks people for checking this one out. Do me a quick favor. When I go through frustration like this, the best way you can repay me is with a subscribe. I sit through some of these movies so you don't have to. This is a prime example, The Marshes being another one. So pay me back with a subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit that uh, thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification bell and then put some comments down here. Let's talk about real horror. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.